What is going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. So we're talking about Megan. The world premiere of Megan happened last night, early this morning, in terms of whatever time zone you're in. By the time you see this video, it's probably going to be 8.30 or 9.30 or 9 o'clock a.m. I haven't decided when I'm going to upload it, but it'll be uploaded when it's uploaded. I just want to talk on these positive reviews or first reactions that are coming in in regards to this upcoming new addition to the killer doll subgenre that i know many people have been wanting to see something fresh in this genre not that i was necessarily overly excited to see something new from the killer doll subgenre but you know with the killer dolls that we already have that most iconic definitely being chucky it seems we might have a new icon on our hands if this is able to find its footing and become a full-fledged franchise because the first reactions out of this world premiere are more than positive and that's not to say that of course as the review embargo lifts when it actually lifts because i think the review embargo for this lifts on january 4th that you won't start to see of course more detailed criticisms about what might be going wrong with the film so far but i want to touch into getting into some of these reactions that are coming out from this premiere that it had in los angeles last night now first off we're going to kick it off with dead meat shout out to you dead meat it says i saw megan last night and did some awesome interviews this morning and it's a blast the story beats are pretty much exactly what you'd expect but megan herself is an instant icon and the tone is top notch i laughed my ass off so many times yet it remained dark throughout now another individual here andrew chimes in saying that megan delivers our great next our, our next great horror icon, the first film in a long time to make the best out of the killer doll story while still carving its own tasteful personality. It's the perfect balance of eeriness and dark humor. Like Malignant, the film rightfully earns all the camp. I'll just say this. My biggest thing with Megan is that if it's able to become something that Universal has a conf has, has enough confidence behind... I am down to see a Chucky versus Megan movie. I'm down to see that. I will say that because I know Don Mancini has touched on a crossover being worked on. It doesn't seem like that crossover is Chucky versus Megan. That's from what he's saying. I have a feeling, though, that that's exactly what will be explored if Megan is somehow more successful than ever than they ever hoped it could be because they already have discussions about Megan, too. They already have Chucky as one of their staples for the killer doll subgenre. And it, might, it sounds like Universal might have another killer doll and they'll have two to play with in an easy crossover movie. That would be amazing to see sometime. But just to kick, go back into these uh, reactions, uh, Shannon of the Dead chimes in to say Megan is absolutely bonkers 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 a terrifying upgrade from the fearsome furbies megan is a nightmare come to life i'm sorry chucky but you ain't got nothing on megan another individual here jeff nelson nothing can prepare you for the wild ride that is megan it's an absolute laugh ride that also successfully balances horror and drama weaving themes of loss grief and trauma a thrilling and thoroughly entertaining addition to the killer doll subgenre now i like this if this movie is able to balance that because we know that this is coming from a creator named gimma who makes this doll for her niece that she gains custody of after i think her niece has lost her parents in a car accident or something like that you know some stereotypical common thing you, you usually see in a movie like this some sometimes usually where the child has lost something and they need this doll to cope so if they're able to find that footing where they can both be funny, scary, and touch on that theme of loss with a child in a compelling way, you have a hit on your hands in my opinion because I think that's also what made that original Child's Play so special. While the doll of Chucky itself is scary, the life of Andy and his mother were also something that was very heartwarming and compelling for the audience to grow invested in and when you can grow invested in your characters that's also what makes the circumstances with this doll that much more terrifying so someone else chimed in this this from brian saying i'm officially a megan stan this movie is delightfully deranged creepy and campy orphan meets child's play for the for the gays hope we get a whole ass franchise with this one because megan is a damn blast someone else scott menzo says megan is a bizarre and totally bonkers a dark darkly comedic take on how modern technology can consume and take over our lives while megan delivers kills chills and laughs it is megan singing in sweet dance moves that stand out as the film's most memorable moments a cult classic is born no doubt about that already from the viral clips you've seen from this trailer of her dancing the dancing and whatever other stuff is going on with this doll in the movie definitely is going to be a standout someone else bj says oh my gosh megan is the evolution of the killer doll subgenre and an absolute blast to watch with a screaming crowd this movie knows exactly what it is and it's going to be 
tough to dethrone Megan as the new reigning queen of horror. I'm obsessed. Tiffany Valentine and Chucky, they really could seriously have a problem on their hands. I actually, the more I'm reading these reactions, I really do hope that Megan is something that can also be a successful property for Universal because then they definitely will be down to explore a crossover between Chucky, also bringing in Tiffany, maybe throwing Gigi and putting them up against Megan. Uh, Eric Davis says, in case you're wondering, yes, Megan slays definitely more of an amusing social satire than straight horror, but it's inventive and clary, inventive and clever and very entertaining. Without a doubt, it elevates the scary doll genre. But but now I need a Megan versus Chucky movie immediately. See, they're already coming in. Someone else, Megan was fab and hilarious, and I'm so glad I have never been a fan of Life Like Dolls. I laughed and gasped throughout the screening, and I had plenty of thoughts about technology and parenting thanks to it. Def one to see with a crowd. Someone else says, this is Drew Taylor. Megan rules. I was expecting a campy killer doll movie, but wasn't prepared for its effective tonal tightrope act. Sly satire and emphasis on horror comedic stylings. Also, great song choices. Director Gerard Johnstone is the real deal. Last one I have here is from Tessa Smith. Mega or Megan <laughs> is a freaking blast. It's hilarious, creepy, and so much striking fun. The song performance is at a whole new level to it, and Violet McGraw is amazing. I can't wait to watch it again. Now, Violet McGraw is the child star who stars as the niece in the movie. I believe she's also the sister of the young girl from the Black Phone movie that came out earlier this year. Violet McGraw, she's been a very talented actress. I've been seeing her since she was on The Haunting of Hill House. I think that was the first thing I saw her on, and she was in Doctor Sleep. She's a very talented young actress. I'm very much so looking forward to seeing what she can do in this role uh and how she interacts with this doll uh that was the last re reaction i thought i had but i have one more someone named ariel i wasn't expecting megan to be so sassy the amount of shade this doll throws is hilarious and terrifying at the same time thank you for the experience universal horror i lied again <laughs> the last one here megan is pure mayhem and a megaton of twisted fun the dark and occasionally irrelevant tongue-in-cheek humor delivery movie that is highly entertaining and full of surprises it's a smart and sassy blast with some tasty kills see it in theaters and watch the crowd go wild now these reactions again while they may get you even more excited for the actual movie do not go into this movie just expecting it to be a complete 10 out of 10 these reactions are mostly just going over how the movie is i guess more of a positive than a negative for the people that were intended for this world premiere when the embargo lifts, it could be a completely different scenario where you start to see a lot more criticisms arise of some of the weaknesses that they can work on going into the sequel but let me know what you guys think about these reactions down in the comment section below if you haven't already make sure you subscribe turn on post notification and there's a video in the description i will have links to all my social media accounts i'm on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course to let me know if there are any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video